We were not prepared for this. Hi guys, I'm going to be vlogging today. If you've seen any of my other videos recently, then you know I am full blown in the Christmas spirit already. And it's a complete blizzard outside, so it literally looks like Christmas. So I'm gonna share some little updates with all my Christmas stuff. I have a ton of stuff to share with you guys today. I'm gonna do a little haul, another little Christmas haul. I have so many hauls to do for you guys because I've just got so many Christmassy things lately. And then I really need to start decorating, like immediately. So that's why I gotta show you guys all this stuff so I can start putting it places. I'm just making a cup of hot chocolate really quick because that's just what you need when it's really snowy and you're in the festive spirit. And like 50 marshmallows. So next I'm gonna share with you guys a little haul. Everything that I'm sharing with you is all from JCPenney. They are partnering with me on today's video, so a big thanks to them. I got so many things that I'm going to use for decorating my house, which I'm really, really excited about. Obviously, I can't stop talking about it. And then some things I thought would be like good Christmas gifts or just things to keep me warm like with this blizzard out right now. So some of the things I actually shopped in store and then some of the things I shopped online. So the things I got online, I haven't even like really opened and looked at really i thought i'd kind of keep it a surprise for the video so i'm gonna open it all on camera for you guys show you guys everything and i am going to link everything down below in the description box so make sure to check it out if you guys are interested in any of the items that i shared today one of the first things that i ordered were these adorable oh my goodness these are so cool they're little picks i'm gonna put them in my flocked tree that i've talked about that i'm going to be doing in my family room so i've said in some other videos but my tree in here is going to be a little bit more not so much traditional but kind of fancy it's all going to be like black and white and stuff and the reason why i actually haven't decorated it yet is because i ordered a couple things online that i'm still waiting to get here for that tree and then i will completely decorate everything but these are going to go on the flocked tree in the family room they're so fun so cute so the one in the family room is going to be more fun colorful and i just thought these were adorable so three came in one pack and i think i ordered like three packs so i might have like nine of them total another one a few more so i have nine of these total they are so cute don't you guys are like adorable and so festive so you don't actually have to use these for putting in a tree or something i guess you could have like a few of them and stick them in some sort of little vase or if you're doing garland on your mantle or anywhere you could kind of like stick it into the garland that would be really cute too so yeah i've got a bunch of those to work with this is making me so excited to decorate that flock tree now i'm pretty sure after i just received this box i'm pretty sure i have everything i need to decorate that flocked tree so maybe that will be my next video i might decorate that tree first before i decorate this one in here i did order some more picks for that tree nine again and here they are these are them super colorful super fun so the branch of it is all like really really glittery and pretty these are gonna look so cool on the flocked tree again and these are kind of the colors that i decided to go with for that tree just to be really fun so let's see how they look with the pom-poms that's so fun okay so i got nine of these as well too and three came in a pack each of those another couple things i'm super excited about are these little decorative birch trees they're like little led trees how cool are those so i haven't even opened this yet but it has like a little burlap thing at the bottom i saw these online and i just thought they were so cool so this i'm probably gonna have to put batteries in yeah Okay, so you don't have to have the burlap thing on the bottom if you don't want to. It's battery operated. And then here's the little burlap thing for the bottom. I was thinking about doing these next to or in front of my fireplace. For those of you that don't know, I have talked about it. We are redoing our fireplace like mantle and bookshelves right now. 
So I kind of want to wait till those are done before I like go crazy and start decorating the area. So I got this little two foot one and I kind of have to like piece it out and make it look all cute. But in a minute, when I'm done sharing with you guys the haul, I'll put batteries in it and show you guys what it looks like. And I also got this really large one. This is a four foot one, but these would actually look kind of cool on my front porch too. So I don't know, maybe I won't do them in front of the fireplace. So here's this one, a lot bigger, just a little stand to put it in. I'll show you guys those all lit up in a minute when I'm done sharing with you everything else. The next few things, I actually went shopping in store and got these things all in store. So I don't have anything for my table, to decorate my table or anything. And I thought this it was really pretty. So yeah, I grabbed this in store. It's just like a really pretty little garland with ornaments and like it's kind of flocked a little bit too and you can put like a few candles on it. So I just thought this would be really, really pretty on my table. Now, if you guys don't want to do something like this on your table, this would even look good on like a little coffee table or I was thinking it would look cool when my bookshelves are done to like put it on one of the shelves or something. Obviously not with like real candles or anything, but I think you can actually do a lot more with this than you think or it would look pretty on an island or like I have a peninsula in my kitchen so I could set it on the counter in there but yeah I just think it's really pretty the colors are all really really beautiful and I could use this every single year no matter what color scheme I end up going with so I love this I'm obsessed with this but I still need to grab some candles for that I saw that there was this really pretty table runner on the JCPenney website and it was like white and furry. I'll link it down below because it was really pretty and a good price. I kind of want to go back to get that. Then the next couple things could be like Christmas gifts or just something you get for yourself because I kind of notice around Christmas time there's so many good deals that a lot of times I end up getting myself some good things. So this is a little Bluetooth speaker. I thought this was really cute. Like I just liked the shape of it and everything and it was really affordable. It's water resistant. I actually got this for Joshua because he loves listening to music like while he's in the shower or something. So I just grabbed this so it could just be sitting in the bathroom and it's water resistant. So I just thought it was cool, cool shape and everything. But this would also make a really good Christmas gift. Like who doesn't want a little Bluetooth speaker? You could have like five of them. Have one in every room. I believe this is the last thing right here. I actually grabbed this in store as well. It's this huge down comforter right here. This looks so warm, so cozy. So I cannot wait to put it on our bed. I got a king, but they had other sizes too, but I just thought it looked really cozy and really warm for winter time like you guys saw it's a complete blizzard outside right now so you could really use this this was actually one of like the best prices i found too for like a really big like king down comforter so i love this i can't wait to cuddle up with that but yeah now that i have a big mess in front of me that is everything that i had to share with you guys for the jc penny haul um i'll show you guys what these what the little led birch trees look like lit up I'm just gonna kind of clean up this mess really quick. It's the moment of truth. I got these all kind of like fluffed out and looking really nice. So this one I actually plug in. This one I just put batteries in. So I'm gonna see what they actually look like. I don't think I'm actually gonna keep them here. Like I said, I might do it in front of the fireplace once the fireplace is all done. Okay, so I didn't put the little burlap thing on the bottom because I think they actually look a little more modern without it. I think they're so pretty, guys. If you get anything 
from this haul get these because this was actually a really really good deal too i've seen these at a lot of other stores already and they're a lot more expensive so these are great quality they're super like pretty and whimsical oh my goodness i love them so much i could just stare at these all day i don't know maybe they do look if i move that little plant maybe maybe they do look kind of fun in here maybe i just leave it like that kind of in front of my curtain that might be kind of fun so this is where i'm thinking about putting this so i'll probably move this little guy or big guy for the holidays and then put this in here and i want to get like a more fluffy or snowy looking table runner and i might add like some candlesticks or something else on here to kind of make it a little more Christmassy, but I think this is a really, really pretty piece. To stay within the Christmas theme of today's video, and because it's blizzarding outside, you can't even see. It's just like white. I am going to bake some Christmas cookies today. I have not baked any cookies in like a year. Well, Christmas cookies at least. I make chocolate chip cookies all the time. But I'm going to try to bake some sugar cookies today. I found a really good recipe the other day for sugar cookies and I really wanted to try it. So I'm, I don't think I'm gonna make my own icing or anything like that, but I am going to bake my own cookies homemade. And I think from what I saw on this recipe at least, the cookies aren't supposed to like spread out a ton. So I can leave like the recipe on the screen while I'm baking, but yeah, I'm gonna get started on that now. So I thought it wouldn't be horrible to make Christmas cookies extra early because then I can really, you know, test out some other recipes if I need to. And that way I make the very best for like Christmas parties or family stuff like that this sugar cookie recipe that i'm trying says that i'm going to need three fourths cup of sugar two and a quarter cups of flour half teaspoon baking powder a quarter teaspoon of salt one egg two teaspoons of vanilla extract and then it also says this is optional but you can do a quarter or a half teaspoon of almond extract and i never used this so i just picked it up the other day three fourths cup of unsalted butter at room temperature, which I have had this sitting out for a little bit. I just realized I don't have a rolling pin or any parchment paper. So Joshua's on his way home right now and I just called him and asked him to stop by the grocery store and pick that up for me. So I'll be taking a break from my baking. And in the meantime, I thought I would give you guys a little update on our bookshelves. So I've been talking about these. I feel like I talk about them in like every single video because <laughs> i'm just so excited about it so before like well it was all carpet in here and there was like this maroon tile and kind of like orangey mantle and so we're doing like white cabinets white bookshelves and there'll be like a white mantle in between so joshua and my dad are working on this together but then we realized that we had a couple of the wrong pieces or something so this has come to a stop now because we're waiting for another piece to come in. So I thought I would share that real quick because I feel like I do talk about these bookshelves in like every single video and you guys are gonna be like, where are the bookshelves? Why are they not done yet? So just wanted to give you a little update. We're slowly but surely getting there. Seems like these things always kind of happen when you have a project. That's kind of the update with that. And I really want to put my flocked tree in here, but I was sort of going to wait until the bookshelves were done so the whole room was really pretty. So now I don't really know what to do. So it's actually quite a few hours later and I'm freezing. I actually ran out with Joshua and we got a snowblower and we ran a couple other errands and got stuff to make tacos tonight so i'm really excited about that but because i was waiting on my rolling pin i chilled the dough which the recipe did tell me to do and i still have to like roll it out like cut it out and decorate them and all that stuff so 
still have all that to do, but I wanted to show you guys really quick. When you come in to this living room, look at how pretty the little birch trees look. I ended up putting them up here, but I think they look so pretty and like whimsical in here. It is literally so snowy and so cold out. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> This is how my first cookies came out. I feel like they turned out pretty good. They kept their shape really well. I was able to get, I think with this recipe, about a dozen. Maybe with the, like, the cookie cutter I used too. It's kind of a big one. But yeah, I was able to get about a dozen. Actually, I got like 14 total because I have eight in the oven right now. So yeah, I think they look pretty good. The moment of truth. Let's see how I do. Okay, this one's my first one, so there's a little bit of leniency here. Kind of gave up on following all the edges. You know, this is our practice round before Christmas. Okay, might just have to eat this one. <laughs> Okay, this one, this one's not too bad. All right, I'd say this one looks like I bought it from the store. It's super professional. So I'm gonna take a bite out of the first one I made, which was really horrible. No. It's pretty good. Oh man. I would say I could do without the almond extract. Or maybe a little bit less of it. Because I feel like I can definitely taste it. But it's good. It's really good. Like I could eat all of them. Okay, Joshua's back from I was snow just blowing. Shoveling the driveway. You were snow blowing. Yeah, I got, I got a new snow blower, so I got that. Hi, boy. Okay, will you right. try a cookie? Yep, because our household rules dessert before dinner. Yep. Okay, um, which one do you want? I'm gonna go with. Um, man. They all look so good. I'll take one that's not in the pan. I'm gonna go with uh, this one. Okay. Ready? You have to be super honest. They're good. You don't love it. They're hard to chew. Hard to chew, I didn't feel that. I thought like- my mouth is so cold from outside. Um, I told them I thought there was a little too much almond extract. Do you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, but you like it? Yeah, I eat all of them. That's what I said, too. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they're good. I need them all. But they're not like... I have to I have to keep working on my sugar cookie I'm recipe a, for Christmas, I think. I'm more of like a chocolate chip or like one of those peanut butter ones with the Rolo on top or the Hershey Kiss on top. Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Just gonna polish off like 12 more of these cookies and then I'm gonna head to bed, just kidding. But I did want to get on here and end this video. If you guys hear, Joshua's outside with the snowblower. We have a dry, our dryer on. Everything's kind of loud right now. 
and it's getting kind of late. Just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're loving the Christmassy content. I cannot wait for more videos. I think my next video is going to be a Christmas tree decorating video. Not sure which tree, but one of them. So, hope you guys are having a great week. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you really soon in my next video.